Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Mandy from Hope Designs. In this video, I am playing around um, trying to practice blowing my blooms out myself. So if you follow our channel, you know that I, um, I often fight with um, some of the tools that I use to blow out blooms on bigger surfaces. I have a Yeeho and I love it. Um, but sometimes I have a hard time controlling the blowout. I, but I am planning on working on that until I grow in that area. But I also want to develop the skill to blow them out myself. So sometimes I just practice on inexpensive surfaces. Um, and I had had a particularly difficult time this particular day trying to do something that I thought was cool. And it didn't work out like three times in a row. So I was like, let me just practice blowing out blooms myself while I have this out. So I'm using some grayish oopsie paint um, as my pillow paint. And I'm kind of doing the beetle back colors. Um, so I have, and if you don't know what I mean by beetle back, it's just kind of that iridescent kind of look over a black surface. So I have a puddle of carbon black and then I'm using... Um, a variety of color art interference colors. Um, there's definitely some violet, some blue, and some green in there, and I'm kind of swirling them around in different places. Um, and then I'm going to put a dab of black on top of that, just regular black in the pouring medium, and I'm going to use a white cell activator. Um, I knew I liked this combination already, so I figured it's what I had out. So I, was, I just figured I would go ahead and practice with these colors versus um, mixing up something new. So this is just a 12 inch, um, this is a 12 inch surface, but it's, it's a record that I poured over. Um, sometimes when I'm just practicing blowing techniques or going bigger, I'll practice on a record because it's a fairly inexpensive surface. And if I don't like it, I can just let it dry, pour over it. So sometimes it's a good way for me to practice versus, you know, abusing a canvas too much. So, and if they turn out, if it turns out well, I can either just resin it or I can make it into like a cool clock or something. They're kind of fun ideas. So I know you can't fully see from a side angle what I'm doing, but I'm using a white cell activator and I'm very gently trying to blow the cell activator across the paint. The, the difficult thing with blowing out blooms is to not have, not blow into the pillow paint. And while we all know that you're not supposed to do that, it's not as easy as it looks to do that well. So I'm kind of blowing in the four major directions before I hit up the, um, the, the in-between spaces. The reason for that is sometimes when I blow them out myself, I have a hard time because I'll really blow the cell activator well on one side and then I'll get to the other side and I don't have the right ratios left over. And so I was watching Jody, and I noticed that she does this and gets great results. So I figured I would learn from her. So anyway, that's part of the, the challenge is making sure that you have enough when you go all the way around. So that was one of the things I was trying here. If you notice when I'm gently blowing it out, I'm kind of moving my head from side to side so that I'm kind of covering that surface. It's still not a great blowout, um, but that's why I'm doing that is to try to cover that wider surface pretty well. Like I said, this was not the most perfect blowout, um, but there, there were some parts that, that blew out pretty well. Um, when I started to spin it, I was like, I don't like this, but you know, we're all our worst, our own worst critics. Um, so 
Sorry, my dog's shaking her head. But then there were some places that I did like, and the beautiful iridescent color art, color shifting colors look so beautiful against that black and kind of gray. So it was kind of a, a neutralish color. So the more I looked at it, the more I liked it. And I thought, you know, that would be kind of a cool clock. Oh yeah, and I was trying to wreck it. Um, not really wreck it so much as try to embellish the parts I didn't like very well. I always forget to do that. And then I blow something out and I'm like, I really hate this section. And then I think, oh, I could have done the swirly things or wrecked it and created a little bit more detail. I was still super conservative in what I was doing. So I'm obviously, um, obviously need some, some work there, but, um, I was just playing around. So this is probably going to be like a super boring video because it's really just me practicing and sharing with you. But honestly, practicing your blooms, it takes kind of doing boring stuff sometimes. It does. Like there's, you're not going to have a successful pour every single time. You're not going to go from having like really beautiful coasters to just automatically going to these huge canvases without a, a little bit of practice in the middle. So you kind of have to be patient with the process and I'm not. So <laughs> I'm trying to be <laughs> when I'm practicing like what works well for me. So I, I like the center. I think, um, like I love the lacing kind of to the left. Uh, the cells in the middle look pretty nice. I just want them to spread out better and extend a little further out. But I think that's going to come with time. There's also a really delicate balance between using enough pillow paint and using way too much. And when you use way too much, when you're blowing those designs out, then it starts to fold in on itself before you can even really get it out there because you can't keep, you can't blow it out fast enough. So these are all the random things that can happen while you're practicing. So you can't see how beautiful those colors are because of the bright studio light, but under uh, resin, it will look really beautiful. I think there's a close up coming up here at the end for you. Um, but yeah, just kind of gives you an idea of what those beautiful bling it colors look like or the interference colors look like on a larger surface would have been even more pronounced if I had used a little bit bigger black puddle because as it stretches out over the, the gray, it's kind of the gray pillow is kind of peeking through. So, but yeah, hopefully you you enjoy the practice journey. I spared you all of the three things that went poorly earlier that evening. I was trying to do this really cool thing I saw someone do and looked easy when they did it. I totally bombed at it. So, and I realize now that this is a little out of frame. So sorry about that. But yeah, I don't think it was a complete fail. At first I was super frustrated and then I took a step back and I looked at it and I was like, this isn't too bad. If I had done this intentionally, I I think I would like it. Only bad thing is that it's so very out of frame for you guys. So let me know what you think in the comments. Um, hopefully you enjoy me sharing the journey and the semi fails with you. It's part of the, the journey to the blooms, huh? Yeah, so here's the close-up. I love the interference colors. I turned the ring light off so you can see them a little bit better. Just not the greatest composition, um, but I'm practicing blowing things out with my mouth versus dryers here and there. Um, 
so this comes with the territory so this is 12 inches this is a record I've just been playing around with it all night I tried to do something really cool that I saw someone do and it was a uh, an epic fail so the best part of this pour is right here that group of cells is really beautiful great interference um, there's some really cool lacing here I don't I don't love how some of this blew out but again that comes with the territory um, but some of it's really cool I don't know if it'll end up getting resin and all that but really pretty colors I tried to embellish some parts that I didn't like you can tell where I kind of drug a skewer through it but it didn't turn out the greatest but hopefully you enjoyed the experiment. This is just kind of a larger version of the beetle back with the color art interference colors. They're beautiful. And I used kind of a gray house paint that I have because I'm practicing and playing around. So thanks for watching. Bye.